Sunday, October 8th, 2017. I think it has been like six or seven weeks since I actually started making Doomfist and I wanted to have him finished by the end of September. Not happy. So, so this week I'm going to do all I can to just get him looking like a complete model, even if there's, even if there's some small details that aren't there yet. I think just get him standing up, get him some feet, get him a head. So, so I think my goals for this week will just be to finish his face and get his head done, finish his feet and his calves, just because I think they look really cool. And so he can, of course, stand up. Hopefully he'll look a lot like a doom fist by the end of this week. And if he doesn't, I, I might just have to accept that I was too inefficient to finish this one and move on to other things. Let's see how this goes. Lately I've come up with a new method for making the face that gives it a lot more shape in areas like the cheeks and the brow by making a series of strategic cuts to pull certain areas of paper together, creating more angles. However, as you can plainly see, after 4 or 5 rough attempts, I haven't managed to come up with anything that resembles my illustration. So for the sake of saving time, I'm going to revert back to my old method of making the face where I just draw it flat and pull it back without worrying about sculpting the brows or the cheeks. Well, that was what I was going to do until last night I just had this idea of how it could be done and I thought I would just give this style of face one more try. And I came up with this. And now that is the sort of shape I was looking for. You can see obviously I'll need to have a separate piece of paper to fill in these gaps here, but the cheeks and the brow and everything is exactly the way I want it to be. Look at that. Oh, that's so good. Look at those cheekbones. The way they curve up like that. Oh, I feel like I finally just mastered paper modeling. Being able to sculpt cheekbones like this and connecting with the brow. Wow, this is so good. This is so good. I never imagined I'd be able to do this with a face on such a small scale. I'm so impressed right now. Can't believe this happened actually. It lines up with my drawing and everything. I can't believe it that I got it to look so accurate from all angles like this. So here's the face all attached to Doomfist and uh, I think it looks great. Now in getting the shape and, and pulling everything together you can see there's like a, a lot of sticky tape and glue which when the light reflects on it makes it look a little bit messy but you're going to end up with a lot of tape where you have to pull everything together and a lot of cuts or seam lines where you have to cut the paper. So I'm still happy with it. Not quite as excited as when I initially saw it but I still think this looks really really good. I'm not going to be doing a nose however because I think the drawn on nose here really does look quite good. And now I'm going to move on to the feet.
And now here he is, standing on his own two legs. And yes, he does indeed stand, even with this giant arm. There's obviously still a lot to be done, however for now, I'm happy that he is starting to look like the character, and all the hard work has been done. I will spend one more week covering this guy, and then that'll be it.